What's going on everybody? Chase here on Aftershock Videos and today I'm going to be doing a gear review and that will be the Joyo Husky Drive. Now this is a neat little distortion pedal. Um, it's got true bypass. It's an overdrive. Pardon me. Uh, it's got your standard uh, 9 volt DC power uh, in and out. Nice. And it's got this little cool little flip. I know I think this is a specific series. I'm not too familiar with the, with these um, mini pedals, but um, I know also like with my delay pedal, they have these. So I mean, it's kind of cool. It's, it'll, it'll light up, and then the little Joyo symbol here will be lit up on the pedal board, which is really cool. But yeah, it's got this little little flap, and it has the gain, tone, the volume, and then your high and low. So it's really simple, and it fits almost anywhere in your pedal board because it's so compact. So. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plug it in and see how it sounds. Alright, so like I said, I'm not running anything too fancy. I got the gain halfway, tone halfway, running it through my Crate MX120R and just my Gibson and wire, wireless adapter from X5. So we'll see how it sounds at the halfway point. Let's just do some power chords. as far as <clears throat> chords go, I mean, it sounds pretty full, and it's, you know, it's not too, too, um, too chunky, too, too overdone. seems to be really clean again that could be because of the noise gate or not but <clears throat> I mean it seems to play really well it sounds really clean you know and again we have it at the halfway point so all right let's go ahead and uh, turn it up We'll turn the gain. Um, we'll turn the gain and the tone a quarter more. We'll turn it to three quarters of a turn. See how it sounds. Okay, so we turn the gain and the tone three quarters of the way. Let's see how it sounds. there it sounds it sounds a lot more beefier it sounds a lot more aggressive sounding being you know turned three quarters of the way up but still sounds very clean very very solid tone and I do have my <clears throat> guitar switch down to lead so put that up the rhythm see how much it's okay so when you have, have it right in the middle it's a little more fuzzy Kind of the same thing with it being in rhythm, so I, I think it sounds good in the lead position. A little more crisper, a little brighter. So yeah, I mean it's a it's a really nice overdrive pedal. It's very, like I said, it's very compact. It's very, very simple. It's got four, four uh, different settings to mess with, the high and low. Speaking of which, we did not do that um, other one. So we have it in low on the pedal right now. So let's go ahead and change it to high. All right, so with a, with a simple twist, um, it went from low setting to high setting. Now let's see how that sounds. Again, uh, gain and tone are at three quarters still. 
Let's see how it sounds. It's definitely louder. It's it's brighter. It's I think it it push it pushes the volume up more. I, I that's what it sounds like. High end seems to pack a little bit more punch than the lower end. Um, overall, not a bad pedal. I believe I bought it for 30, 30 to forty dollars on Amazon, something between that line, somewhere in the lines between that. And as either starting starting guitars get out, you know, just somebody on a budget or just trying new things. Like this is a this uh, Joyo Husky Drive pedal is very good, and for how much it costs and for what it can do. It's a very good pedal. All right, and there you have it. There is the Joyo Husky Drive pedal. Um, like I said, it's not super expensive. It's very compact for anybody who's looking to save room on their pedal board or just not wanting a huge pedal. Um, it seems to pack a whole lot of punch. The distortion and gain, I think, is very well balanced. It sounds really good. Um, and it's, you know, it's it's simple. It's easy to use. And I believe when I got it, it came with the, with a uh, sticky Velcro on the back, too. So if you're also running a Velcro um, pedal board like me, it works out just fine. So there you have it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this down below if you've ever tried it. I'd love to hear your guys' input. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.